morning. Job for today is finish the wiring for the speakers I've put in into the back of the van. Uh, so I've got to take the head unit out, attach the cables there, pull them through to the back and then attach them to the speakers. Sounds quite simple but we'll see. Um, it's the standard head unit so there's a, a, a little connector block and there's only going to be four wires in that for the, uh, the front two speakers. So I've got hold of um, some little connectors, I don't know if you can really see them there, some little connectors that should fit into the box, the block, fingers crossed, and then uh, can get those wired up then. And hopefully then we'll have sound in the back as well as the front of the van. So I've got what I think I need today. I've got uh, um, 30 meters of just Amazon speed cable that'll do the job. Uh, speak wires, I've got a crimping set. I've got obviously the, tar the, the plastic levers you can get to try and remove the um, items from the dash etc. A couple of cables there that will attach the speaker um, and then I've bought these adhesive pads there that I can use to um, connect the wire, well fasten the wires up a bit to stop anything moving around with these cable ties. And then here these are the little connectors that I've got off eBay, fingers crossed these are going to be compatible with the block that's in the um, in the van already and then uh, <laughs> pull the cables connect that all up and then we will be laughing a bit of insulation tape as well just to um, fasten the cables together uh, and that's it so let's uh, get on with it right so i'm going to take the head unit out and drop the cables behind there round I'll, I'll bring the left and right rears around that side and then back behind this unit. Um, obviously once behind the unit then I'll secure them with those cable tie fasteners. Um, wire up that one and then this other one on this side I will drop a cable through there and actually fasten it to the back of the bed frame here and then take it through one of the holes down there to wire that one up. Um, rather than bring any cables across here where there will obviously be more foot traffic and the cables could get damaged. So let's give that uh, a go and get that set up. Okay, so with the, with the front head unit you've got to actually take the whole of this grill off. Um, if you've got a 12 volt um, cigarette lighter uh, you know, there, You've also got to watch when you pull this out because the base of that can catch on the on the back. But yeah, the whole of this is it using the um, rising tool plastic. You can you can basically work your way around and and gently get that out, and then it will take some doing. But uh, say so once you get it started, you will. Um, you will be able to um, use your hand and sort of use your hand to help um, know how much pressure you're putting on it as well. <laughs> Only just started and I've <laughs> just been brought bacon butty. Can't be bad. I'm just going to eat that and then um, I'll crack on again. I'll do a uh, say. Um, so I've already started getting it out so you can actually see. So it should only be another five minutes and that should be off and then we can take the head unit out. Okay, so that's the surround off. You can see that there's eight, there's four, um, uh, uh, well, not screws, they're the actual hex bolts or whatever you want to call them, um, that need undoing. So I'll just get the uh, adapter and get those out. So if you unscrew the, the four, and just be careful basically not to, uh, not to lose anything. Don't let anything drop actually in, so because uh, you don't want anything in there rattling around basically. I'm just trying to put it all back together.
with that out, you can see basically with how the wiring is. Okay, so with that out, you can basically see your aerials and your, your wiring. This, this brown block here is the one for the speakers and you can see that only the first uh, well the, the the middle two are actually populated to so the first and the last two are the uh, are the rear speakers with the lower well I'll put a wiring diagram in basically at this point so you can just see what you'll need to um, connect but on the back here this this here should basically pop out so we have to push that down and then it should pop open so you just got to push that down and then you can hear it click and then that slides like that and then that part there will come out and this is the part we need to work on right so once you've got the block disconnected you basically need to there's a little black uh, clip just there and then this end clip here you have to basically bend those so that this brown block will slip out okay so that's sliding out now and this is what we've got to connect the other wires to. Oh, I've cleverly just pushed that back in. <laughs> okay, so that's that block out. And then... There's a little pink cap that goes down the middle and it's that that holds these clips all in. So we've got to just basically get that slid out. So the bottom of the block, if you use a small screwdriver, pop that in there and you can just push the purple center the pin out. Then pulling that up will actually release the ability to, to, to get new ones in and take these ones out. So whatever you do, don't lose this. Right, so I've fed the first cable through. And I've got that to come out here. So, it's just a side panel. So basically, I can route this in one of those cable ties across here. So it keeps it out of the way and then into here. And then once we're in here, we can go all the way down the inside of this line and around there and then get the cable to go behind the unit out of the way. So I'm gonna run this one to get the right length and then make this the rear, um, the rear right hand side one. And then I will then <laughs> cable tie or tape a bit on the other one on this wire once it's cut. And then I can pull the other cable through on this wire and then route them both around. Um, this, this first cable is gonna be the short one of the two. So that's the rear right speaker cable now run all the way through and I've just pulled it into the back there you can just see that on the mat um, and so now I'm going to attach the other one now I'm going to attach the other cable to this cable just to pull them back to pull the other one through I've wrapped a bit of a brown tape around the cable um, which is going to be the rear right so you can tell either end which cables which I'll use red tape on the other cable Okay, yeah, got it. I'm just putting a bit of uh, tape around this cable, fasten it to the other cable, um, and then we can basically get that pulled through. So I'll, I'll just use two bits. I'll just put one bit over the end as well. Okay. And then hopefully this will come through the gap smoothly now. Okay, right, so if I pull this cable here, Feed that through the gap here. Easier said than done. Okay, now it's going up. Oh, right. Feeding that up and then pulling it through here. 
here. There we go. And you can see the join there. So that's both cables pulled through now. So that just needs running through to the back now. And then I can uh, cut that down and get it ready to wire in. Right, so I've pulled the cables. So I've basically got brown is for rear left and then red is for rear right. And I've obviously put a, put a red bit of tape on the speaker so I don't forget. That's where I'm going to route that one to. So I'm just going to get it all tidied up in the front now and then start routing the cables properly. And there it is all finished. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> right. Um, I'm just going to basically... Um, sort these wires out now and get the connections on and get them rooted into there take the wires back onto there and then put the head unit all back together and then uh, and then initially just test one of the speakers to see if that works okay and um, so I'll just get the wiring diagram and figure out which way around this is which ones I think it's one and five and four and eight uh, are the ones that we have to use Just crimp crimping the, taking the sleeve off the cable at the minute, and then um, getting ready to fit the actual connection blocks so that uh, we can wire it into this block here. Obviously, um, I'm going to use the one, the cable with the black line in. I'm going to make that the positive, the plus. So when you see on the wiring, there's a white, a positive, and a negative. The, the you know, it might be different on the cable you have. It could be red, it could be black. There'll, there's no, or there'll be some identification on the cable um, as to which one is what either end, and then it makes it easier to keep the positive and negative right. So that's those four done. So we've already done one if you can see them got the outer one there that crimps it to the cable and then the inside there you can crimp it with small pliers to the actual wire um, so we'll just do the same again on this one put that through there thread that through and then clamp that on the cable on the shielding And then close this one down, print this on the actual speaker cable itself inside on the wire. And hopefully that's not going anywhere then. So that's those two done, so we'll just repeat that for this one as well. And then carry on then getting it wired up. That's those four wired up now. So they're ready to go back into the brown box now to, to get them connected back to the head unit. I don't know if it quite picks it up on here but there's a little number right at the top of each one of these so it goes one and then five is at the top of there um, so it's one two three four five six seven eight like that so uh, we know that uh, one five is the top one and four and eight is the bottom one that way around So before I wire this up properly now I've just put it back in I'm just going to go and put some sound through it and check that the uh, the outputs are working to each speaker if you just push push the head unit back in just make sure the rear wires underneath it's a doubled in socket but there's only actually a unit at the top half so you have to just make sure the wires are underneath that top half for it to be able to push in Fasten the four bolts back up. Oh, 
trying to avoid putting the hazard warning lights on. <laughs> So that's re that's ready now so i wouldn't put the fascia back on yet until we've actually ran the cables fully uh, so if we do that now and get that all neat and tidy and then we'll give it a quick test and then once everything's passed we'll put the fascia back on okay i'll come through just by the blower there tagged it off with a, a little cable tie there and then into the sill here along the sill and then i'm just going to go into the a seal there and then follow the contour of the door round. Just been for a quick drive in the van and uh, the sound now whether it's got the speakers in the front and the back so it's got uh, alpines in the front and then it's got kenwoods in the back um, connected to the standard head unit and it sounds so much uh, so much better than uh, just having the old default speakers in the front so we're uh, very pleased with that to be honest mm -hmm. 